The Persian people are an Iranian people who speak the modern Persian language and closely related Iranian dialects and languages. The term Persian translates to from Persis, which is a region north of the Persian Gulf located in Pars, Iran. It was from this region that Cyrus the Great, the founder of the Achaemenid Empire, united all other Iranian empires and expanded the Persian cultural and social influences by incorporating the Babylonian Empire and the Lydian Empire. Although not the first Iranian Empire, the Achaemenid Empire is the first Persian Empire well recognized by Greek and Persian historians for its massive cultural, military and social influences going as far as Athens, Macedonia, Egypt, and Libya. Persians have generally been a pan-national group often comprising regional people who often refer to themselves as Persians, and have also often used the term Iranian. Some scholars, mechanically identifying the speakers of Persian as a distinct ethnic unit, exclude those Iranians who speak dialects of Persian. However, this approach can be misleading, as historically all ethnic groups in Iran were collectively referred to as Iranians or Persians until 1935, when Reza Shah formally required foreign countries to call Persia by its native name, Iran. Terminology the term Persia was adopted by all Western languages through the Greeks and was used as an official name for Iran by the West until 1935. Due to that label, all Iranians were considered Persian. People who embraced the Persian language and culture are also often referred as Persian. Ancient history and origin The origin of the ethnic Persian peoples are traced to the ancient Iranian peoples who were part of the ancient Indo-Iranians and themselves part of the greater Indo-European language family. The ancient Iranian peoples emerged in parts of the Iranian plateau circa 1000 BCE. Important Iranian tribes such as the Old Persians, Medes, Parthians, Sarmatians, Alans, Bactrians, Scythians, and the Avastar people used the name Aya, which was a collective definition denoting peoples who were aware of belonging to a generally common ethnic stock, speaking very closely related languages, and mainly sharing a religious tradition that centered on the worship of Ahura Mazda. The Old Persians, who were one of these ethnic Iranian groups, were originally nomadic, pastoral people in the western Iranian plateau and by 850 BCE were calling themselves the Parsa and their constantly shifting territory Parsua for the most part localized around Persis, bounded on the west by Tigris River and on the south by the Persian Gulf. The first known written record of the term Persian is from Assyrian inscriptions of the 9th century BCE, which mention both Parsuish and Parsua. The Iranian Persians and Medes were initially dominated by the Assyrian Empire for much of the first three centuries after arriving in the region. However, the Medes and Persians played a major role in the downfall of Assyria after it had been riven by internal civil war. These cognate words were taken from Old Iranian Parsava and presumably meant border, borderland and were geographical designations for Iranian populations. Nonetheless, Parsua and Parsuish were two different geographical locations, the latter referring to southwestern Iran, known in Old Persian as Parsa. The Greeks began in the 5th century to use adjectives such as Perses, Persica or Persis for Cyrus the Great's empire, which is where the word Persian in English comes from. In the later parts of the Bible, where this kingdom is frequently mentioned, it is called Paras, or sometimes Paras ve Madai, i.e. Persia and Media. As the old Persians gained power, they developed the infrastructure to support their growing influence including creation of a capital named Pasargade, and an opulent city named Persepolis. Starting around 550 BCE, from the region of Persis in southern Iran, encompassing the present Fars province, the ancient Persians spread their language and culture to other parts of the Iranian plateau and assimilated and intermingled with local Iranian and indigenous non-Iranian groups including the Elamites. Gushans and Manians over time. 
Persians also interacted with other ancient civilizations in Europe and Africa. The first Persian Empire extended at its maximum extent as far as the limits of the Greek city-states in modern-day mainland Greece where Persians and Athenians influenced each other in what is essentially a reciprocal cultural exchange. Its legacy and impact on Macedon, which at its maximum extent was part of the Achaemenid Empire for decades as well, was notably huge as well, as the ancient Macedonians extensively borrowed from the Achaemenids. Even for centuries after the withdrawal of the Persians from Europe following the Greco-Persian Wars, at the same time, the old Persians were part of the wider area. Darius and Xerxes boast of belonging to a stock which they call Iranian. They proclaim themselves Iranian and of Iranian stock, Arya and Aryasika respectively. In inscriptions in which the Iranian countries come first in a list that is arranged in a new hierarchical and ethno-geographical order, until the Parthian era, Iranian identity had an ethnic, linguistic, and religious value. However it did not yet have a political import. The Parthian language, an important Iranian language, was spoken by the Parthians and is mutually intelligible with the Middle Persian language became an official language of the Parthian Empire. The Parthian language had an important influence in the modern Persian language as well as other Iranian languages, as well as a major influence on neighboring Armenian. In the 1st century BCE, Strabo would note a relationship between the various Iranian peoples and their languages. From beyond the Indus, Ariana is extended so as to include some part of Persia, Media, and the north of Bactria and Sogdiana, for these nations speak nearly the same language. He mentions the Seatians, the plausible ancestors of the modern Kurds as one of the Persian tribes. Seatians, the generally accepted progenitors of the Kurds and Lures might already have been significantly scattered in the Zagros from Persis into Media. During Sasanian Iran, a national culture, fully aware of being Iranian, took shape and was partially motivated by the restoration and the revival of the wisdom of the sages of old, Danagan, Pesanagan. Other aspects of this national culture included the glorification of a great heroic past and an archizing spirit. Throughout the period, the pre-Islamic Iranian identity reached its height in every aspect political, religious, cultural and even linguistic. In terms of linguistic, Middle Persian, which is the immediate ancestor of modern Persian and variety of other Iranian dialects, became the official language of the empire and was greatly diffused amongst Iranians. The intermingling of Persians, Medes, Parthians, Bactrians and indigenous people of Iran, including the Elamites gained more ground and a homogeneous Iranian identity was created to the extent that all were just called Iranians, Persians, irrespective of clannish affiliations and regional linguistic or dialectical alterities. The Elamite language may have survived as late as the early Islamic period. Ibn al nadim among other medieval historians, for instance, wrote that the Iranian languages are Farlevi, Dari, Khuzi, Persian and Suryani, and Ibn Mokafa noted that Khuzi was the unofficial language of the royalty of Persia, Khuz being the corrupted name for Elim. However, the Elamite identity might have vanished already. Furthermore, the process of incomers' assimilation which had been started with the Greeks, continued in the face of Arab, Mongol and Turkic invasions and proceeded right up to Islamic times. Islamic era the term Persian continued to refer to various Iranian people including speakers of Khorasmian language, Old Tabari language, Old Azari language, Laki and Kurdish speakers. The Iraqi historian Abu al-Hassan Ali ibn al-Husayn al-Masudi also refers to various Persian dialects and the speakers of these various Persian dialects as Persian. While considering modern Persian to be one of these dialects, he also mentions Pahlavi and Old Azari, as well as other Persian languages.
Al Masudi states, The Persians are a people whose borders are the Mahat Mountains and Azerbaijan up to Armenia and Arin, and Bela Khan and Darband, and Ray and Tabaristan and Muscat and Shabaran and Georgian and Abasha, and that is Nishabur, and Herat and Marv and other places in land of Khorasan, and Sajistan and Kerman and Fars and Arvaz. All these lands were once one kingdom with one sovereign and one language, although the language differed slightly. The language, however, is one, in that its letters are written the same way and used the same way in composition. There are, then, different languages such as Pahlavi, Dari, Azari, as well as other Persian languages. Modern era The name of Persia was the official name of Iran in the Western world before 1935. But Persian people inside their country since the Sassanid period have called it Iran. Accordingly, the term Persian was used in the Western world as the people inhabiting Iran, for instance, Ramsay MacDonald, the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, and the British ambassador in Iran, Percy Lorraine, used Persian and Persian people to talk about the Iranian people and government. On 21 March 1935, the ruler of the country, Reza Shah Pahlavi, issued a decree asking foreign delegates to use the term Iran in formal correspondence. From then on, Iranian and Persian was applied interchangeably to the population of Iran. It is still historically being used to designate predominant population of the Iranian people living in Iranian cultural continent, ethnicity, while a categorization of a Persian ethnic group persists in the West. Persians have generally been a pan-national group often comprising regional people who often refer to themselves as Persians and have also often used the term Iranian as a pan-national group defining Persians as an ethnic group at least in terms used in the West is not inclusive since the ethnonym Persian includes several Iranian people including the speakers of modern Persian. Some scholars classify the speakers of Persian language as a single ethnic unit and exclude those Iranians who speak dialects of Persian, or other Iranian dialects closely related to Persian. However, this approach to ethnicity in Iran is erroneous. Since the designation Iranian as an ethnic term has been used by all these ethnic groups in Iran, including the Persians, irrespective of their origin, language and religion, subgroups, Iran is the homeland of ethnic Persians. Persians and Persian speakers can also be found in Tajikistan, Afghanistan, Bahrain, Kuwait, UAE, Iraq, Georgia, Turkey, Armenia, Oman, the Caucasus, Azerbaijan and Uzbekistan. Like the Persians of Iran, the Tajiks are descendants of various Iranian peoples, including Persians from Iran, as well as numerous invaders. Tajiks and Farsawan have a particular affinity with Persians in neighboring Khorasan due to historical interaction, some stemming from the Islamic period. Scholars also include Iranian language speakers such as Lurs, Talish, Gilak, Mazandaranis and speakers of Central Iranian languages in Iran under the term Persian. Specifically, the Lurs speak an archaic Persian language. In addition, the Hazara and AIMAQ of Afghanistan are Persian-speaking communities of mixed Mongol, Turkic and Tajik origins. Other smaller ethnic groups of Persians include the Lari people of Laristan and the Kizilbash of Afghanistan who are related to the Farsawan and Azerbaijanis. In the Caucasus, the Tats are concentrated in Azerbaijan, Armenia, and Russian Dagestan and their origins are traced to Sassanid merchants who settled in the region. They speak a variant of Persian named Tat or Caucasian Persian. In the Indian subcontinent the Parsis are a distinct ethno-religious community that have descended from Persian Zoroastrians. They are a Zoroastrian sect settled mainly in western India, centered around Gujarat and Mumbai. The Iranis, another small community in India, are descended from more recent Persian Zoroastrian immigrants. History 
The Persians are descendants of the Aryan tribes that are believed to have migrated from Central Asia into what is now Iran in the second millennium BCE. It is well known that Darius I of Persia was himself Aryan. The Persian language and other Iranian tongues emerged as these Aryan tribes split up into two major groups, the Persians and the Medes, and intermarried with minority peoples indigenous to the Iranian plateau such as the Elamites. The first mention of the Persians dates to the 9th century BCE, when they appear as the Parsu in Assyrian sources, as a people living at the southeastern shores of Lake Hermia. The ancient Persians from the province of Pars became the rulers of a large empire under the Achaemena dynasty in the 6th century BCE, reuniting with the tribes and other provinces of the ancient Iranian plateau and forming the Persian Empire. Over the centuries Persia was ruled by various dynasties, some of them were ethnic Iranians including the Achaemenids, Parthians, Sassanids. Buway had and Samanids, and some of them were not, such as the Seleucids, Umayyads, Abbasids, and Seljuk Turks. The founding dynasty of the empire, the Achaemenids, and later the Sassanids, were from the southwestern region of Iran, Pars. The latter Parthian dynasty arose from the north. However, according to archaeological evidence found in modern-day Iran in the form of cuneiforms that go back to the Achaemenid era, it is evident that the native name of Parza had been applied to Iran from its birth. Language Xenophon, a Greek general serving in some of the Persian expeditions, describes many aspects of Armenian village life and hospitality in around 401 BC. He relates that the Armenian people spoke a language that to his ear sounded like the language of the Persians. The Persian language is one of the world's oldest languages still in use today, and is known to have one of the most powerful literary traditions, with formidable Persian poets like Ferdowsi, Hafiz, Qayyam, Atta, Sadi, Nazami, Rudaki, Rumi and Sanai. By native speakers it eventually came to be known as Farsi, which was the Arabic form of Parsi as there is no P sound in Arabic. Additionally, Persian was constitutionally renamed from Farsi to Dari in Afghanistan during the 1960s. The dialect of Persian spoken in Tajikistan is called Tajika. Persian has historically referred to some Iranian languages. However what today is referred to as the Persian language is part of the Western group of the Iranian languages branch of the Indo-European language family. Today, speakers of the Western dialect of Persian form the majority in Iran. The Eastern dialect, also called Dari or Tajika, forms majorities in Tajikistan and Afghanistan and a large minority in Uzbekistan. Smaller groups of Persian speakers are found in Iraq, Russia, Pakistan, Western China, as well as in the UAE, Bahrain, Sweden, Kuwait, Oman, Georgia and Azerbaijan. Religion The Persian civilization spawned three major religions, Zoroastrianism, Manichaeism, and the Baha'i faith. They even contributed greatly to Islam. Another religion that arose from ancient Iran is Mazdakism, which has been dubbed the first communistic ideology. Both Mazdakism and Manichaeism were sub-branches of Zoroastrianism that is said to be the first monotheistic religion. Sunni was the dominant form of Islam in most of Iran until rise of Safavid Empire. There were however some exceptions to this general domination of the Sunni creed which emerged in the form of Bazadis of Tabaristan, the Buwayhid, the rule of Sultan Muhammad Qudab and Dar, the Hashashan and the Sabedran. Nevertheless, apart from this domination there existed, firstly, throughout these nine centuries, Shia inclinations among many Sunnis of this land and, secondly, all three surviving branches of Shia Islam, Twelver, Ismaili, as well as Zaydiyya had prevalence in some parts of Iran. 
During this period, Shia in Iran were nourished from Kufa, Baghdad and later from Najaf and Hila. Shiism were dominant sect in Tabaristan, Om, Kashan, Avaj and Sabzeva. In many other areas the population of Shia and Sunni was mixed. In recent centuries Ishmailis have also largely been an Indo-Iranian community. Many scholars and scientists in Persia who lived before the Safavid era such as Fadawzi, Jabir ibn Hayyan, al-Farabi and Nazir al-Din al-Tuzi were Shia Muslims, as was most of Iran's elite, while other renowned Sunni Muslim scientists, scholars and personal Iris were Persian or had Persian descent, including Abid Awad, Hakim al-Nishabori, al-Tabrani, Ghazali, Imam Bukhari, Tiamidi, al-Nasri and Faik al-Din al-Razi, amongst many others. Abu Hanifa, the founder of the Sunni Hanafi school of Islamic jurisprudence is also widely accepted of Persian ancestry. The first officially Shia empire, the Safavid dynasty in Iran, advocated the Twelver faith, made Twelver law the law of the land, and supported Twelver scholarship. For this, Twelver Ulama crafted a new theory of government, which held that while not truly legitimate, the Safavid monarchy would be blessed as the most desirable form of government during the period of waiting for the 12th Imam. Today, most Persians are 12 Urshia succeeded by Hanafi Sunni Muslims. There is also a sizable number of Shafi Shafi'i Sunni Muslims in southern Iran and amongst Kurds. Small Ismaili Shia minorities also exist in scattered pockets. Some communities practice Shia Sufism. There are also smaller communities of Zoroastrians, Christians, Jews, and Baha'is. Baha'is are the largest non-Muslim religious minority in Iran. There exist Persians who are atheist and agnostic.